All right, YouTube. Um, it's just a few things you like. Red, red box, so I'm just like that. Um, just like a few old systems that I've got. And um, there is more. They come. This is a quick thing for the log stuff. And um, also, just before I start, here's stuff in case anyone needs it or wants it. Uh, PSP. Um, like the rubber type of sleeve thing. Original DS, if any of you guys have it. Which is a blue plastic cover. Um, an expansion bit, like cover slot for the PS2, obviously the original one. Let's see, what is it? Oh, there's like a little box thing I found with like Game Boy games and stuff. Original piece of paper from Sonic when I set up my PS2 online. Alright, but anyway, now we have stuff that we can do. There's a Mega Drive, as you guys can see. Let's take this out. There's a Mega Drive. Um, 16 bit console, basically. Basically, you have a reset button there, where my finger is. White button. Um, this bit is probably headphones. There's a little headphone bit there. Um, you're all in on. And port lights, right there where my thumb is. Um, games, obviously, in there. It says high definition graphics and stereo sound. Okay. Um, obviously you have your control approach number one and number two. On the back you have the um, like adapter port, which is there. You also have like a it says like an A V out port. Um, which goes there, big circle everyone. Next to it is just like the RF output, which was basically just if I could find more. There's a switcher as well. And all the cables in the boat, so they're all tangled, it's only untangled. And, and there is an extension there, which kind of looks like a PC end from our computer. That's basically the Mega Drive. That's Mega Drive 1. Just people are wondering. Um, but I do have like um, Sonic 1, uh, 2, and um, like stuff like that, etc. There's like Sonic and Knuckles as well, which I got for like 50p or something like that. Just the labels damaged. Um, still trying to find that one in the box, so. but that's like an extended game. So. Like that. So that's the master uh, system. Um, unfortunately, I've not got an original controller anymore. So I've got like a series 3 one and uh, the control ones. So I then set all the effects to be different things. So if you want to like automatically jump and just move it down to like, turbo or whatever. Uh, there's another lot of in the back as well. But that's basically it. Um, as I say, I will be doing lots of snares and stuff. Um, I will also be doing um, recordings of the snares uh, through the Easy Cat. If that helps anybody. Um, I won't try and do like master systems on the Segas, but it's just trying to find the cables. That I can convert so it goes through like the red, white, and yellow ones. Um, right, so we'll start this one as the Master System 2. Um, so there's like the lid, you guys can see. That's what opens, obviously, inside there. Let's quickly that one. Um, pause button. 
Which one? You guys can see. So it's paused. Um, obviously, the. Sorry. Uh, on and off switch. The power button. You have two control ports at the bottom. Hold on. You just have like the AC adapter, the power key, obviously. There. And you have the RF output there. Um, this one has uh, an Arctic button. So that's pretty much basically that. I won't be getting shelves and stuff so on display and probably have one of them somewhere. Um, there's basically like a controller. That's like the original one I was actually master system too. Um, I'm gonna do like my master system one. If you guys haven't seen it, so there's a control for that. Basically the same as number two. Um, there's the control stick. One, two, so I think A and B basically. Um, and just move back and forward. Which is quite weird to do. Like with your right hand. Like now. It was easy to just do that. But now since I, I basically put it halfway upside down. Just because also like more modern computers than joysticks. Right, and let's see what else do we have. I'll just show you this. I'll do like PS1 and stuff like that. I will be doing the Ubuntu once I get this room finished. Um hopefully I'll get done with soon. Right, basically here's my system one which um a friend gave me and he actually picked it up for me in a carbon cell. Um, so, I like, really appreciate that. So, this one's just one. As you can see, it's never broken down, they've left this card, but it's still there. It's still secure. It's still got the same amount of it. And this is actually covered in a lot of specs of paint, which I will eventually get off. Right, so, this is my first one. I'll just do the wee. I'll just do this quick, guys. As you can see, there's just a controller port 1 and 2. Right? If you guys are wondering what this bit is, if the camera picks it up, I can get it to pick up the card input. So, if you import cartridges, you have like games and little cards. And you see, like, one there in the play. Um, I do have one somewhere, I think it's. Um, it's, I think it's like Bomberman type of thing, but well, obviously it's not Bomberman, but it's like it. Mm. Right, so anyway, the power button, it's just a push in, push out one. And you have like the reset there, I think it is, and the pause. This one is, the middle one. And the game goes in there. On the back, you have the AC adapter, RF, and the which can stop making it for the second one. Um, let's see, there's a wee description if the camera picks up properly. So there's a TV system. Um, I'm not actually sure where you can pick it up. No, 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 but that's just telling you, I think, what to do. Basically, just like put your game, put your card on, pull it on, blah blah blah, the TV. Um, and the game I got given with this was Dick Tracy. Um, Alright, guys, well, um, basically, thanks. There will be more videos coming soon, and hopefully, you guys see you later. And enjoy!